Capricorn. This is Kim. Going to do your reading for the next 48 hours or whenever it really resonates with you. Um, we're going to use the Zen Tarot first. So it's a little bit different. I will be giving explanations, of course, for the different words. The Major Arcana is a little different too. If you would like a private reading, I'm doing those for donations. Just check out the box below. And also, thank you for your subscriptions. Um, Comments, shares, likes. I appreciate all the support from all of you very, very much. So let's get into the Zen Tarot. Calling in Capricorn spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages that are for their greater good only. Or Capricorn. This is called the Diamond Spread. So the first card that we're going to be getting is in the middle. And that will be the issue, the main issue, Capricorn. What is the main issue for Capricorn? We have three cards defining your main issue. Page of Swords energy. In the mind. In the mind. Projection. Seven of Cups. Something is not how you're looking at it. Something's not how you're looking at it. Maybe you're confused about that. And have trust in the Knight of Cups. Whatever this offer is that comes into you. Maybe needing more information on something. You may or they may, it's, it's spying might be involved. It might be a child air sign. This might be about trust your options, but I think it's about being confused and possibly somebody messing with your mind to make you confused. Let's find out more. So the cards behind it right here are going to be um, what is coming your way that you're not aware of. you're not aware of wow capricorn really strong energy we have the full we have four cups and the meaning is different than in the regular tarot okay so and then exhaustion you're terribly you're very tired about something so you're really tired exhaustion almost like burnout it, it is that persistence keep up the persistence because you are doing good Turn inside when you're feeling this stressed feeling. This Four of Cups is about ignoring that which is around you and going inside. So going within, not without. The full card is a little different too in this deck in that it, it wants you to experience something brand new, taking a leap of faith without dragging any comparisons or labels with you to this journey. So don't Think that anything, any any component is going to be the same as something in the past. Don't even go there with that. That's missing the whole entire point. So the fool is completely starting over. There's a trust here in this fool card that's got the innocence of a child in a sense. So what is what are you going towards? And you should know this. What are you going towards or might see? Well, we've got threes for everything. It's so weird. Consciousness, that is your uh, Ace of Swords, major, uh, being conscious of a major truth here, getting out of this confusion energy. Eight of Wands, traveling or news traveling to you. Good news. And maybe about your Page of Pentacles, a new adventure to go on to or a new venture, a new start that will be successful and has to do with your Pentacles. So you are going to get good news. It's a moment of truth for you here. What is spirit advice for you? Let me move these up. What is spirit advice for Capricorn? When you find that truth, you are really going to get and in step into your success. You're really going to be aware of things, aware of cycles. So right now we have the aloneness, actually. So this is the almost like the hermit. It's, it's going inside, um, having to feel like you're doing something all on your own. That's the feeling of it. Success, six of one energy, success, recognition, reward for merit, doing really good celebrating, feeling like you're on top of the world, right? There is a healing coming too with the king of cups. There's going to be an extreme um, amount of balance that's going to come from going within. You're going to get your emotions really nice and balanced. 
this might represent somebody who can mentor you about this or help you because you're going through a transformation. Spirit's advice is to transform yourself or your situation. Take this breakdown and make a breakthrough. So the breakthrough card is about taking a breakdown and turning it into your breakthrough. And then the intensity is gonna, it's gonna come quick. That's the Knight of Wand energy. It's coming quick for you, coming quick. All right, what is the projected outcome here? Got a lot of cards for you. Integration and completion are the, the last cards for you. You do need some patience here. Integration, completion, and have patience on something. Something is coming, just have patience. There may be help coming with this exhaustion. Yeah, there's something that's gonna change all of this. And I think that awareness card was about being aware of how a cycle is so you can stop a pattern and then it becomes a completion for you. After you've integrated what seems to be apparently opposites, but having them mesh together and get along like the yin, yin and the yang. All right, let's get information from the tarot, see what it wants to clarify. Really pretty cards, I love that. Healing family emotional wounds or emotional things going on with the family. May have to do with this page of swords, air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be a child. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe traveling with that child or maybe needing more information on this news about this. Then we have the Ten of Cups needing to be turned right side up. But before you can do that, something has to go through a transformation. Something truly has to be figured out with this Ace of Swords. In comes the Knight of Cups right here, the same card as that. With trust, I would trust this Ace of Swords. This King of Wands may be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They are the builders, though. You may be able to build something after knowing this truth or clarity. You still might be waiting patiently like the hangman. It might be dealing with a Virgo too, Capricorn. And look at that. We have the Seven of Cups again. So your Seven of Cups was right up here. That was your um, issue card. So we haven't gotten closure yet on something that's got us so confused with the Seven of Cups. And nobody has put their foot down and controlled this situation. Nobody really has control of this. Woo, deep Capricorn. Let's get you some tea leaves and end this reading. It's a, bit, a very deep, deep reading. All right, haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. Mice, discord among friends or family. Sunrise might have to do with the Leo. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Yeah, with that full card up there. Bull might be dealing with the Taurus. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. And pig, beware of greed. Beware of greed. All right, Capricorn. Thanks, guys. Sending you light and love. Enjoy your next few days. Bye-bye.